So here we go, almost a full year after I went searching for my drone, it is time for me to use my Kwai C Five Fish V6 underwater submarine that has a 4K camera and two very bright LEDs on the front. Look at this. I used it last year right up into a point where I did an update from the manufacturer and it wasn't quite ready yet and it actually broke my submarine. I was not able to use it. Plus I have a very limited season in when I can use this in the pond that I'm searching for my lost uh, DJI Phantom Vision 2 from a long time ago. Six years I lost it in the pond where at this time of the year there's not a lot of weeds. In fact the pond is still covered in ice. So I'm going to send the sub under the ice today, but to catch everybody up to speed, I waited one year hoping that the, the company would do some sort of update, uh, and I found one the other day. I updated it through my app, and uh, I tested it yesterday. It seems to be working. What was happening was when I updated it, all it wanted to do was roll in the water, and I couldn't get it to be controlled at all. So that was too bad because it went from a working product to a non-working product, but that that was a year ago. Check it out. This is the communications cable uh, that actually spools out that gets attached to the camera drone back here. This is a submarine that can go quite deep. This is actually an ocean submarine, but I'm going to be using it in the pond. This is where the communication cable goes. Then this communication cable actually goes to the radio and hooks in through the back. But this isn't any normal radio, my friends. This actually sets up a Wi-Fi station. This is a very powerful controller, actually. Sets up a Wi-Fi station that broadcasts to your phone, your smartphone, to show you in an app what the camera is seeing. So it's almost like you were actually under underwater doing the exploration yourself as you go around. So with the lights on the front, it allows you to look into dark areas. It gives you a better field of view. And with a 4K camera, I don't do 4K video because it takes a long video, like a lot of data, um, but you get a clear, crisp picture. This also has head tracking. When I was using it last time, the data wasn't available yet, uh, like the app wasn't quite ready, and there's actually inside this box a whole setup for first person view so I put on the goggles I slide the viewer in and if I move my head it should move the sub underneath the water this also has the ability to record all of the the video both on board the sub itself it's got 50 gigs of memory as well as I got a 64 gig card right there this allows me to set the depth control and this allows me to lock all the motors so if I want it to stop. Enough talk. I've got a ton of ice over the pond but I have a small area that has opened up that I think we can get the sub in there. I may lose the sub today but you know what? No risk, no reward. Let's go hunting. Okay, so there's my pad over there. I walked down to the dam over there and then down here, check it out. You can see the entire pond is covered in ice except for this back corner. This is fantastic because I was flying my drone six years ago and I lost contact. It flipped upside down, flew down and then gloop right in this area somewhere, I think. Now, last time we looked for it, I checked around, I could not see it. Is it covered in silt by now? Possibly. Dog, what do you think? This is my puppy, Raven. Say hi, Raven. She's such a good girl. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get set up, put my chair down, see if we can get the sub in the water. So here are the uh, version of the goggles that I have where you slide your phone in the end and then you get to look through them to see what your phone is seeing. The other thing I wanna mention about this controller is that it has three different modes on it. A, B, and C. Basically A is on auto mode for like beginners. It, so what, what the unit won't do is roll because it has full roll, pitch, yaw, the whole deal. It'll do everything. The sport mode is sport uh, or is B. And then C is a combination of both of those. 
Okay, so since I'm in a field and this has to auto spool on its way out as the, the ROV is, is pulling on it, I always take a rock, put it on the bottom leg here, a rock on the other leg, and then I make sure that it can spool out with very little um, issue or, or, or resistance. Here it is over here hooked up to the back. You can see that this loop prevents any pulling on the actual cord and the, the uh, communication cable is twisted in there. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, hook up the cable Cable on the back and then it'll power up the fly fish. So it just flashed its lights twice. What it's going to do right now is it's going to start setting up the Wi-Fi. When this is ready it will go solid and then I know that I'm connected I can start up my app right now. One of the things I remember from last year is I want to turn on do not disturb on my phone because I don't want someone texting me in the middle of me piloting uh, if I am using the goggles of course. Let's see if we can focus in on there. You can see that it's actually hooked up to the Wi-Fi onto the FiFish network and it is connected. So if I go dive right now, it's basically showing the camera right here. You guys can't see it because of the glare, but obviously you can see that there's my fingers. <laughs> there we go. In she goes. Now let's test this out. It's trying to lower itself. I've got to learn. There we go. I got to put on the goggles. <laughs> Whoa! I got to learn how to pilot this thing again. I'm rolling her all over. There we go. Normally what I would do is I'd take out my aerial drone so you could see what was going on. But with all the ice today, there's just, just no way. Let's see if I can turn it towards us here. Oh, I rolled it the wrong way. And then, oh, there it is. <laughs> so the only complaint I have about the whole head tracking system, or the whole, pardon me, the whole first person view system, is that the goggles aren't shaped for everybody's head. So I gotta wear a bit of a hood because I've got the sun behind me or else it reflects off of the light that gets in through the edges uh, on my phone screen. But regardless, I'm ready to rock and roll. So I see there's a little bit of a delay in the communication of the app and the actual sub itself. So if you move and the drone is actually showing on the app that it's actually um, going straight, you might be turned up a little bit and not even know it. Now I'm totally upside down. This is crazy. Okay, where am I? I am pointing up, so the app is communicating properly to me. There, like that. Now what I'll do is, I'll, I'll let you guys watch on the screen while I orientate myself to the controls. Beautiful. Whoa. I would almost like to reverse the control for up and down. Okay, so quickly a disaster as I'm using my first person view because I realize that it takes a lot of control to understand uh, the pitch, the roll, and the yaw with the controls because one is obviously the movement and then the other one. Uh, if you're in sport mode, this one is movement plus the roll. And then if you're in uh, just regular mode uh, or normal mode, this one is uh, forward, back, and left and right. You can actually get it to shimmy left and right without any roll in it. So what I've done now is I've got it one foot below the surface uh, and I, then I locked the depth with this right here. So it's just kind of hovering there at the moment. I'm gonna push the record button right now and I've let out quite a bit of line so I can or so I can see where it's going instead of using the FPV right now, which just seems to be a little bit more challenging. All right, it's a little more windy, but let's give this a second try. First time, not so successful, but I got fairly deep under the ice. Second time, let's give her a go. There you can see the cable start to pull as it goes underneath the ice. So we're going down there. Ten feet, eight feet, or 
11, 12, there's the bottom. Okay, we're gonna stop there. Beautiful, what a view. I'm gonna skirt sideways. I gotta roll just a little bit though. There we go. Now I can skirt sideways. I'm gonna try to maintain that depth at 13 feet. Just gonna do a sideways sweep so we can see if there's anything on the floor. I'm maintaining 13 feet. Looks like, it looks like it's getting deeper here. I'm gonna have to go a little deeper. So rolling forward, moving forward right there, and then skirting sideways. Amazing that we're lighting up the, the pond floor right now. Okay, I gotta go deeper. <laughs> you can see the cables being pulled. Yeah, over here. Okay, so it's 14 feet almost. So I'm gonna have to go forward a little bit more. Rolling, okay. There we go, whoa! Right on the floor at 15 feet. I'm surprised I don't see anything, but it is pretty deep out here. A lot of the weeds are really close to the shore right now, not deep water. Okay, we're gonna have to go deeper. There's a rock. Okay, sport mode, going forward. Holding it. Another rock. Almost 16 feet, have to go deeper. Getting a little windier out here, though a treasure hunter won't quit. What is that? That almost looks like a blade. It was a DJI Vision 2. Oh my God, how am I gonna be able to tell? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm moving forward. What has to happen is I have to move down a little bit. So, yes. And then forward. What is that? I can't tell on the small screen. Is it just a stick? It might just be a stick. Ah! Ah! I need to get higher. There. Forward. Forward. Where was it? Oh man, where was it? Dude, that was a very straight line. That was a very straight line. But it could, like, it's not. Oh, I can't believe I lost it. I wish there was some way I could just touch the screen and like make it work and like drop a pin on it or something. Oh. Well, at least that gives me some hope. I have no idea if that was it or not. I doubt it. I want to say I doubt it. You know, how much sediment happens after six years? I don't know. Probably quite a bit. Could it be buried right now? Yes. Or maybe in a pond like this where it's just runoff water all the time, it's not buried. But regardless, either way, I think that's the closest viewing I've had yet. Guys, if you actually like this kind of video, please let me know. 
I actually think you guys would be bored stiff by watching something like this, but I've had quite a few people write in over the years to say, or over the year, pardon me, to say that they do enjoy this. So let me know in the comments section below and uh, we'll see if we can keep exploring while I'm able to, because this is a, a, a short season for me to look for this drone. Get into that mode again here. There we go. And then forward, pull forward. Ah. There are so many times we could be like, oh, that's it, and just have no idea. Or one day we may just find it and go, oh my God, there's no question, that's the drone. But regardless, guys, thanks a lot. Hopefully you like, uh, like the video, leave a like, click, I gotta get out of the wind. Until next time, bye. that. Ugh. It's starting already. I like this thing. <laughs>